Hey everybody, it's me, Jay, and I got a new book out and I'm really excited about it. It's called The Way of the Hive and it's about this little honeybee named Yuki. And I'm kind of interested in what you think about it. So I'm going to read a little bit to you and you can tell me what you think. All right, here we go. Chapter one, transitions. Once upon a time, there was a whole lot of nothing. But nothing was everywhere, and it was very stubborn. It did not want to change. And then, just like that, something else appeared. It was a small, delicate flower bud, floating quietly in a great garden of darkness. It just floated there, and floated, and floated. And then, one day, the bud did something. It opened its petals, slowly at first, because it was kind of shy. But once it started, it couldn't stop. It felt good to stretch its petals out into the nothing. As it stretched, the flower began to worry that the emptiness might not like it. So the world flower decided to offer the emptiness three gifts. It offered light and life and beauty. And the emptiness said, more please. So the world flower gave more. It released a mighty swirl of pollen grains that filled the darkness with a zillion surprises. Some of the pollen grains were hot and fiery. Some were icy cold. Some wore amazing rings and baubles and a few very special grains were covered in sloshing oceans and lush lands. On these special grains, life could grow. Life grew in the sea first, bit by bit, chunk by chunk, a few molecules here, a few molecules there. Eventually, when life figured out how to put itself together, it went nuts and filled the sea with weird looking organisms. The oceans swam with gobs and gobs of creatures. It was a pretty exciting time. Living things were everywhere, and soon the oceans grew cramped. Ouch. Excuse me. Watch it. Hey, the tickles. Who stinks? One day, a brave little amphibious thing, desperate for some elbow room, decided to crawl onto land. She thought she was the first bold pioneer in a strange new world. She wasn't. Well, 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 what have we here? Yes, the insects had gotten there first, but the amphibious thing didn't seem too impressed. Good grief, she squished Bob! Ah! Faced with such rudeness, the insects made a pact to rule the world. We must spread across the globe. We'll show them. The plan worked. Eventually, 10 quintillion insects covered the planet. Most lived alone, but a few found that they had better success surviving if they worked together. One group, known as the honeybees, cared for the children of the world flower in exchange for nectar and pollen. This is the story of that clan of honeybees, Clan Apis. Huh. Are you telling me the entire universe came from a giant daisy? <laughs> what do you call this, Deborah? The big bloom theory? <sighs> Don't give me a hard time, Niyuki. This is only my second day capping cells. I'm doing the best I can. Sorry, that story just sounded a little bit too flowery. <laughs> yeah, well, we're supposed to tell that story to larva. I didn't have to tell stories in my last job. What did you do before? I cleaned empty brood cells. Uh, did you get fired or something? Of course not. I just grew out of that job. Now I cap cells. As a bee gets older, her responsibilities change. Oh, I hate change. That's the way of the hive. We all do what needs to be done. Not me. 
I like what I'm doing right now. Oh, sure. I liked being a larva, too. What the? You used to be a larva? You gave up getting pampered all day to clean and cap brood cells? What were you thinking? I didn't have much choice. It happens to all of us. It's going to happen to you, too. Why do you think I'm capping your cell? Wait a minute! You're capping my cell? Well, whose cell did you think I was capping? How should I know? I don't have eyes! Help! Help! I'm being buried alive! Get back in there. I have to cap your cell so you can go through metamorphosis. Oof! I can wait, Devora. Why don't you cap someone else's cell? Please? Nope. <laughs> no fair. Okay, that's it for now. I really hope you liked it. If you want to know what happens to Niyuki after this, then it's all right there in the way of the hive. So maybe go to your library, see if they've got a copy. Go to your local comic shop, see if they have a copy. If not there, check out your bookstore. Okay? Until next time, be good. See you, everybody.